order to play most multimedia formats online or offline within OpenSUSE, you'll have to install the appropriate codecs. Personally, when I install anything on my system, I like to see exactly what it is that I'm doing. And so doing the old fashioned terminal method is my absolute favorite for doing pretty much anything. I'm gonna go through my instructions for installing multimedia codecs on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed in this case, but it, this will work for Leap as well. I prefer the terminal method of installation. I like to see exactly what it is that I'm doing and understand what's going on with my system. I realize this is not the easy mode. I got it. And for those that are more to the easy mode, there are other options. But for the purposes of this little video, I'm gonna show you how to do, how to install the multimedia codex in the terminal. So what I have here is step-by-step -step instructions. Now I'm running, I'm running OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is my preferred distribution from the OpenSUSE project. And so I'm gonna follow those instructions. If you're running Leap, you can follow the Leap instructions. So just know what it is that you are running. I'm gonna be adding three different repositories one is the Pac-Man repository, one is Mozilla, and the other is libdvd CSS. Now this is not really necessary unless you use a DVD player. I use a DVD player. So you can omit this from the process. So I'm just gonna do this you know, one line at a time here. I'm gonna add the Pac-Man repository. This AR is add repository. And this is the location here. You know, more details on how to use a zipper command, you can, there are many resources out there. So we're first gonna add that. I'm gonna use my root password. Now your root password will be different. The process doesn't take very long, just as repository. I'm gonna add the next one as well. Of course, you can do this all at once if you like. And the libdvd CSS. Now here are the leap instructions. This doesn't matter what version of leap, this will automatically use the correct release based on what your system is. The next step here for all versions, we're going to continue by refreshing all the repositories. So here, sudo zipper refresh. So this will go through and retrieve the repository information. Now this is going to tell you there's a new repository and a signing key was received. So now, if you reject this key, that's over. You can't can't do anything else. But you can temporarily accept it or always. Now I, I choose always. We'll go through and it'll update the local cache. This does take a little while. Depend on the speed of your connection and the speed of the mirror or how, how burdened that mirror is while you are trying to refresh. That says that all repositories have been refreshed. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say sudo zipper dup allow vendor change from Pac-Man. And this will allow the packages that are already in the system to be change over to the vendor Pac-Man or that repository. So here it'll give you a summary of these are the 25 packages that are going to change vendor. It'll tell you very clearly go from OpenSUSE to the Pac-Man repository. And then seven new packages are going to be installed. And so it'll give you a nice total. It's a, it's a really nice way to read out what's going on. Very clear to see. I'm going to say yes. So it's gonna retrieve all the packages first and then install them in one shot. That's the default behavior. The last step here is to install a few other codecs as well as the libdvd CSS. Now you can remove that. If you don't want to install that, there's no point in adding the repository either. Now in this case, I don't actually need it because this computer doesn't have a DVD drive, so I'm just gonna remove that. So it's kind of a waste adding that repository earlier, but it's all right. It's gonna tell you what's gonna be added. So in this case, 41 new packages. And say yes. Retrieve those 41 packages, install them, and you should be ready to go watch whatever it is that you want and not have any issues with codecs. Now I probably should remove this from the site now since it's since Splash is pretty much deprecated entirely, but if you should have a need to install Flash for whatever reason. Uh, I left those instructions on here, but it is dead, as the internet tells me so. Now that everything's installed, you should be able to watch that favorite episode of Star Trek The Next Generation sitting on that external drive 
that you acquired somehow or, or ripped yourself and, and enjoy all your uh, media. Should you decide that you're going to add a DVD player, you know, temporarily to archive your giant library of DVDs, or if you just want to watch, you know, something on a DVD, or pick the DVD out of the bargain bin at the local big box store, you can go ahead and do that too. Install that one other codec, and everything is ready to go. You can go back to 1998, enjoy your DVDs once again on your OpenSUSE tumbleweed or leap machine. That's all there's to it, but you will have to restart Firefox in order to take advantage of those additional plugins. Now you're all set with multimedia codecs in OpenSUSE. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.